first game, taking us across the St. John's River. Let's roll those highlights. What a perfect view. Bishop Kenny taking on Providence. And here we go. Providence down 28-7. And Mason Williams stunt, stunt like his daddy. Make reservations for six. 28-14 BK. Following Crusaders drive, Derek Heidemann lets it rain. And James Davis, the third, clears it out. 35-14 Crusaders after a Stallions field goal. That is Caleb Matson. Is your rolling? Yes, I just. <laughs> Might be. Oh my goodness. That was set up. This Matson. Where is he? Whoop! There he is. The Crusaders were going to win tonight. 42 25. About a month ago, the Bishop Kenny Crusaders were on the outside looking in. Yet here they are after taking down Providence and winning their fourth game in a row, clinching the district title, and now will look to ride this momentum into the postseason. Um, I think this was kind of the first game we played really well in all three phases. I think we played really great on defense uh, the last couple of weeks, and then uh, we finally complement on the offensive side this week, too. There's been a handful of games that have been kind of an up-and-down team this year. I think uh, when we have momentum and we're playing our brand of football, protecting the ball, uh, being aggressive on the offensive side, um, I think we're a dangerous team. We're not the team that everyone thinks we are. We're a lot better. No one really puts respect on Bishop Kinney, uh, and we're here to prove them all wrong. This team, like, we're all brothers, and like we really just like want to play for the people the around us. and. I mean, we can really beat anyone program. when we play together. Even though tonight was senior night, luckily for the Crusaders, it won't be the last time they'll take this beautiful field as they'll get to host at least one more game in front of the home crowd. Reporting from Bishop Kenny, Shaz Parani, First Coast Sports. Thank you, Shazzy P. The Creekside Knights hosting the Ponte Vedra Sharks. Or pardon me, the Ponte Vedra Sharks hosting the Creekside Knights. Drew Price to Brian Case, making the case to get into the end zone, and he does. 28-20, Ponte Vedra up by eight. Fourth quarter now, Sharks still leading. Price is going to pitch it this time to Brian Case. Brian Case pulls up the throw and finds Cam Tetsy in the end zone for the touchdown. Late fourth quarter, Creekside not giving up. Sean Ashtonfelder, there's the man on the left side, high definition television, gets it into the end zone. That was a touchdown before he dropped it. Ponte Vedra won, though, 35-30. I thought our kids just kept playing. You know, it's uh, it was a hard fought football game. Creekside is a really good football team that uh, you know won 7A district, right? And uh, so we knew it was going to be a huge battle. Um, and uh, our kids just kept coming back, kept coming back, kept coming back. One play at a time. You know, I'm close with the guys up front, and it's all God, man. Thank him. The Fleming Island Golden Eagles hosting the Fort White Indians out in Clay County. Pick it up in the first. Golden Eagles up 3-0 and Demir Jackson. Action Jackson. Did you see that nice spin move into the end zone? 10-0 Golden Eagles. Extra point as you know it's good. Now in the second quarter, Fleming Island keeps it on the ground. Play of the week, number nine. Mr. Jackson putting on for his city. 17-0 Fleming Island. They go on to win a final 45-0, and they can celebrate because they're district champs. Turnovers was a problem for us early. We've, we've cleaned that up, knock on wood, uh, that it doesn't come back and, and raise its ugly head. Um, but the last four or five games, we've been holding on to the ball and playing good defense. Executed some of our plays well, we practiced well, and we just put everything together. I feel like we'll be a good team in the playoffs. Just happy to be a part of it, happy that I was able to just make my teammates happy. And we've been striving for this goal since offseason, so I'm just excited to be a part of it. Nice at Beachside, big crowd there, good student section there. First quarter, Nice already up 7 nothing. when Nate Harry is going to find Mr. Tyler. 14 nothing. Nice, same score. Second quarter, fourth and goal. Harry, where is he? He's going to push his way into the end zone. They call that a quarterback sneak. 21 nothing. When it was all said and done, my friend, the Nice Panthers would win tonight a final 42-20. Kingsland, Georgia, we go. The Kevin County Wildcats hosting the Tiff County Blue Devils. The Wildcats making something happen on special teams. David Coleman Jr. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Takes that one to the house. Play of the day or week nominee. Game tied at 7. Later on, Blue Devils up 14, 10, but not for long. Jordan Hardy just meet me in the end zone because that's where it's going down. Cats up. 
17-10. And there's David Coleman Jr. stunting, stunting like his daddy. Yet again, takes that one to the house to make it 24-10. Oh no, he was pushed out at the one yard line. Elias Williams makes it 24-10. The standout tight end going to Georgia. They won 38-28. They're number four seed in region one, and they will travel to North Cobb in two weeks. Episcopal hosting Ridgeview on what was senior night. Fourth down on the first drive of the game. Jordan Mesa is intercepted by Sam Perkins, AKA Green Goblin. They call that a pick six, seven nothing Episcopal. Fourth down now. Glenn is going to decide to what? We got a lot of these quarterback keepers, the tush push, 14 nothing Episcopal. Next drive, Glenn is going to find Mr. Where is he? West Singer. And he's singing his way into the end zone when it was all said and done. Episcopal won this ball game tonight, a final 35-7. Hashtag team sideline. One of my favorite parts of the show is when we get an opportunity to showcase you, the fans, showing your school pride. And when you guys are posting your photos and videos on Twitter and Instagram, or should I say X and Instagram, using the hashtag team sideline, we absolutely love it. Love it when you show your school spirit. So every day, post photos on X and Instagram using the hashtag Team Sideline. We got more stops to make. Play of the week, hit of the week, fans of the week, band of the week, cheerleaders of the week. You're watching a week 11 edition of Sideline 2024.